It's the January Book Haul! So a lot of you have been wondering, what happened to Tea Time? Where did Tea Time go? Is Tea Time coming back? Oh, what about Tea Time? So basically, Tea Time was something that I created with Aubrey. And since Aubrey is no longer here, she moved to Chicago. Weep. <laughs> I miss you. I decided that it was time to sort of bring back what you guys loved about Tea Time, which is talking about all of the books. So I'm going to do a video once a month where I show you guys what I've read, what I'm going to read, and then all the books that I got from the other publishers. So here's what I read this month. I read The Wrath and the Dawn, and the reason why I picked this one up is because it was nominated so many times in the Book Shimmy Awards, and I was like, hmm, there might be something to this. I should probably read it. Not knowing anything about it, other than that it was a retelling of A Thousand and One Nights, which I know nothing about, except for that my favorite pinball machine is actually A Thousand and One Nights, and Scheherazade is a character in the pinball machine, and she's a character in this book! What? Oh my god, coincidence! So anyway, this book is super lush, it's very romantic, I loved the world building, it was very sexy, like a lot sexier than I thought it would be, and there's like some, you know, hints about Aladdin, you feel like you're in this world, this like, very exotic world when you read this book. And the sequel, The Rose and the Dagger, comes out in some time. <laughs> I think in May, maybe May 3rd. You should probably, you know, look it up on Goodreads or something. But either way, I definitely recommend this for fans of retellings. If you like fantasy, there is a little bit of magic. Not a lot of magic, but just, you know, just a little bit here and there. It's more like a love story. So if you really liked A Court of Thorns and Roses, I would definitely recommend you read this one. Oh! It's the girl from the cover! She's in the end papers! What? The next book that I read this month was The Night Circus. It's been sitting on my shelf for a really long time and everybody's like, oh my god, you have to read The Night Circus! Oh my god, it's so good! You have to read it! And I was just like, eh, whatever. So finally I was like, eh, okay, I'll pick it up. I did not like it as much as you guys did. Oh, I know, I know, everybody is like, The Night Circus is the greatest book of all time! And it was good, it was really good, it's set in the turn of the century, it's about dueling magicians at this night circus. Haha, <laughs> what? And it's very ethereal and magical. I mean, it's magical realism. That would That's how I would classify this book. It's jumping timelines and different perspectives and there's a romance. But for me, the pace was really slow and it took a long time to get going. And the romance that is sort of hinted at in the description doesn't really happen until later on. And I think I'm just super ADD and I just really want things to happen like immediately, page one, I want everything to happen. But with this one it was a bit of a slow burn. And I really liked it, but it wasn't, it wasn't mind blowing. It wasn't the thing that just was like, oh my god, this is the greatest book of all time. But I'd love to hear what you guys think of this book if you've read it. Tell us in the comments below. But also, I will say, the design of this book is amazing. First of all, end papers. Aww. So all the different like sections, they get this like really pretty, I don't even know what you would call it, but it's like stars and it's all magical. And basically the night circus, everything is like black and white and there's like no color except for the people who love the circus. But the people who love the circus, they mark themselves by wearing like something red in this black and white circus. And so the only thing that's red on this is the stitching in terms of like the package design, it's gorgeous. And I know the movie rights were sold, but I haven't heard anything about the movie, and I think it would be a really cool, like, Tim Burton or Guillermo del Toro. Like, he would do something crazy with it. This month, I also read Reign of Shadows by Sophie Jordan, which doesn't go on sale until February 9th. Look at this cover. <laughs> it's so pretty. The whole package is so pretty. This book is a really interesting fantasy. I haven't quite read anything like this yet. Um, the main character in this book is blind, which is really interesting and not really a spoiler. You find out basically in the second chapter that she's blind. But the world that they're in is completely dark. It's completely in the dark. And the main character, Luna, she's blind. And so that doesn't hinder her that the world is in darkness because she doesn't really need light to you know, move around and be badass, which she is in this book. And of course there's a guy named Fowler that she meets and there's a budding romance and they have to like basically spend the whole book like hiking through the woods in the middle of the dark and he's like, oh, I can't see. And she's like, ain't no thing, I got this. And there's like this city that's in the trees and there's, oh, there's just like a lot of really interesting things that I haven't read in a fantasy yet in YA. So if you like fantasy and you're looking for something different, that explores some different themes, definitely check out Reign of Shadows. And the last book that I read this month is a hefty one, Frontlines by Michael Grant. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Rotate, 
see that back. Baby got back, what up? I am obsessed with World War II, which is kind of a weird thing to be obsessed with, but I'm obsessed with World War II. And I will read basically any fiction, fictional novel of World War II. So when I heard about Frontlines by Michael Grant, the guy who wrote Gone, I got really, really excited because it's a reimagining of World War II as if women could fight in the war. What? I know, you're like, what? Women can't fight. Michael Grant's like, yeah, they can. And they do in this book. So this book basically follows three different girls one is a, like, you know, works in intelligence, one is in the army, and one is a medic, and they all go into World War II for very different reasons. And the book really takes its time in sort of exploring why they're going into war, what it means, like what the impact is on their families. So the war part doesn't actually really start until like mm, halfway through, but I really like that it take that Michael takes his time in building these characters and giving them this like rich background so that when they do go into war, you honestly feel like when bad things happen to them, you really do feel that. You feel like personally like hurt, you know, when your characters are hurt. So that's what I really like about it. It's very authentic to the time period. And honestly, if you really like anything by Elizabeth Wine, Codename Verity, or um, Brutus Apetus, you guys will really like this one. And it is on sale now. Now it's time to show you guys all of the books that I got from the other houses, the other publishers. I went to my first kickboxing class last night. <laughs> and I can't flip books right now. My arms are so weak. And you're probably all just like, Ugh, why'd you go to a kickboxing class when you could just be home reading? And I'm like, I know, right? But I had to go to the kickboxing class because I'm going to the Legion premiere in March and I gotta look good for Theo, obviously. So, you know, kickboxing. Oh, here's what I got. I haven't read any of these books and they don't go on sale for a while, but I'm just gonna quickly run through them. So I got First Life by Gina Showalter. I don't know what's happening, but I'm into this. I'm into this hourglass. If I was your girl, it's a cool cover. If I was Theo's girl, she says, as a married woman. <laughs> um, the Art of Not Breathing, I am very curious of what this one's about. I like the cover. There's like some ocean things happening. Is there a drowning? I don't know. The Way I Used to Be, I am digging this cover. I mean, I really, I'm kind of a sucker for flowers on the cover. Um, hello, Rain of Shadows. So when I saw this one, I was like, all right, it's going on the TBR. I couldn't exactly tell what the book was by this, but it's a new Matthew Quick. Oh, it comes off. <laughs> Probably should have checked that one out. Oh, Every Exquisite Thing by Matthew Quick. Ooh, how do you guys feel about the scratchy cover? I'm kind of digging it. Tell the Wind and Fire, another Sarah Reese Brennan. I didn't know she had a new book coming out. This is so exciting. Oh. Fun fact, my old roommate was the cover model on Sarah Reese Brennan's Demon Surrender. Yes, go, go look that up. That was my roommate. Rebel Bully Geek Pariah. This one's from Bloomsbury. Caraval, which doesn't have a cover yet, so I'm really curious as to what this is gonna look like. But from the description, it sort of sounds like it might be like another night circus-y thing. Um, but we'll see. So, more on that later. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> Glass sword. Okay, technically I didn't receive it from the publisher since we published the book, but I still wanted to show you guys because it's really Okay, so we sent out, we only made 150 of these, and we sent them out to some bloggers and YouTubers and bookstagrammers. But this is the Glass Sword Galley, and it comes in this amazing box that has like a red velvet lining, and then it has everything about the book on the back. And then on the side, it's literally etched into this. It says kneel or bleed. <laughs> oh my god, it's so awesome. They should make these for like real like hardcover books, like like book protectors, basically. If you're gonna be in New York City on February 14th, which is also Valentine's Day, I'm gonna be at Books of Wonder with Victoria Aviard and Sophie Jordan, author of Reign of Shadows. We're doing a little panel, it'll be fun. Books of Wonder, February 14th. You can look it up on their website. Come say hi. Okay, so what should I read next month, you guys? I've got four options. I'm sure I'll read more than this, more than this, but I want you guys to pick of these four which one of these I should read. So the options are, the Shannara Chronicles, which I picked up because of the MTV show, it's actually a Terry Brooks book, um, and the original title is The Elf Stones of Shannara. <laughs> so I have no idea what that's about. I'm assuming it's about elves. We'll find out if you pick it. We also, my other option is Everything Everything by Nicole Yoon. This one's been on sale for a while, but I haven't read it yet. So if you guys have and you loved it, tell me to read it in the comments below. 
The Girl from Everywhere by Heidi Heilig. This one's coming out next month, and I know everybody's really excited about it in the blogosphere, so if you want me to read it, tell me in the comments. And then finally, I'll Give You the Sun by Jenny Nelson. Also been on sale for a while. It's been on my TBR for a while. I just haven't really gotten around to it because, you know, <laughs> life. So, which of these four books should I read next month? Tell me in the comments below, and then I will read it and tell you what I think next month. Aww. Thanks for watching my very first book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring for you. And I will see you guys next month. And I can't wait to hear what you guys are reading. Tell me in the comments below. Say hi to me on Twitter or Instagram or Snapchat or Vine or <laughs> Peach. What is Peach? I don't even know. What is Peach? Someone tell me, what is Peach? Okay, I'll see you guys next month.